yes you guys what's up welcome to another video today we are testing a new drone of mine the Shandrone Swole it's a 10 inch x8 8s quad and there it is maybe you can see it yeah so we are driving to the field right now I'm very excited I already flew it I already tested out this drone uh, but without a gimbal today is the first time that I'm testing it with a RS2 gimbal so I'm very excited how this will turn out I never used a drone with a gimbal with a full-size gimbal on top so um, yeah we will see see you in the field Okay guys, so we are here at the field right now um, with the Shenron Swole with the Z-Cam. Normally I use the red camera on top here, I, so I'm planning to use the red camera. But um, yeah, for the first test, for the maiden flight, I will test out with the Z-Cam. Hopefully everything will go right, so wish me luck. What is my concern is it's very windy today, so not, not right now, but sometimes it's very strong wind. I'm afraid that the gimbal may be freak out in the in the air. Okay, maybe you can see it right here. This is the flat format. If I put on my lot, it's a little bit maybe overexposed. I have an ND filter on, on top of the Z-Cam, so I will slightly adjust it so it's not getting too overexposed. But it looks good to me. Um, what I used here on the um, drone, I used the tilter base plate. To mount the gimbal on the drone um, then I have a XT30 uh, output on my drone with the XT30 modified cable I uh, run power to the gimbal so this is not a cable that you can buy online you have to build it yourself to, to you know modify it to get the gimbal powered in the air um, I already balanced the gimbal at home so I can unlock it right now here so it should be balanced I drove here with the car so I don't know if the balance is still 100% but I think it should be fine turn on the gimbal we will check again if the gimbal is now behaving correctly So this looks a little much better to me. You know, we will having fast movements while we up in the air. Should be fine. I'm very nervous to be honest, but yeah, we will see. This turned out to be a good flight, I don't know, I'm not sure, I didn't see the footage yet, but it flew okay. You can uh, obviously, obviously tell that it's very heavy, but yeah, 
I'm I'm happy. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. I want to give you a little thoughts of my first flight. Uh, now it's past almost one month, but I was too busy to, you know, cut, edit everything and upload it. But here, here we go. Um, yeah, the, the first flight went very good, better than I thought. Um, of course, you can improve a lot of things, you know, you can, um, if you have a separate second operator who operates the gimbal, uh, you know, a better video transmission system and everything, but um, I'm working on, on everything. I think it's very nice to have this option, you know, um, to get some different kind of shots. Some, uh, some people compare these shots, for example, like this um, DJI Inspire drone. But I think, uh, yeah, you can you can fly faster with it. You can make it's it's like an FPV style. You can make a, you know cross little gaps and something like that. Um, yeah, I will be posting a lot of um, FPV cine lifting content soon. As you can see, my batteries are charging right now here, so I'm about to go uh, for the next flight. I have a lot of cine lifters at the moment, so um, yeah, make sure to subscribe the channel. So I will be, like I said, posting a lot of uh, FPV content filmmaking content so let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see highly appreciate it um yeah thumbs up everything i thank you so much and see you in the next one peace